Hey everyone, Tim here. Welcome back to part three of the modeling toolkit. And today we're just going to go over the multi-cut and the target weld. Two super useful tools. So let's start by making a cube. I'm just going to zoom in with F and zoom in on it. Okay, so let's click the multi-cut tool. And with multi-cut tool, I use this all the time. I love it. You can do all kinds of things. So right now we have multi-component selected, so we're basically selecting off any of these edges. So say we wanted to cut this in half in kind of a strange angle. Let's just click, left clicking on all these components here, and boom, click the close, see a little close button shows up, hit enter, there we go. And you can even click like out into the middle of things and just make shapes like this, like shapes that can't really happen in 3D. In this case, you would want to close these off to make complete polygons, but it'd be a great way if you want to make a really specific shape, and then you just close these off. And then you could combine this with uh, extrude or something like that. But that's a very hard shape to get a hold of just by randomly pulling shapes together. But the multi-cut cut tool makes it super easy to do that. So say you want to do something a little more precise with the multi-cut tool. Say we want to slice this cube in half or just add an edge loop all the way around. You can hold control and it's going to add that functionality. So you can see that little orange line that's where your lines your edge loop is going to show up so let's click that and there you go cut all the way around and you can do that in any direction you want by just sliding on these different edges just cut it up however you want so let's let's undo that say you want a little more precision to your cut let's hold Control plus shift and now it's snapping one thing to note when you're doing this though say we cut it here and then we want to cut it in the middle it's not going to be the exact middle but if you start by cutting in the middle, there's the exact middle, and then this is the middle of that. So it's actually percentage based. So if we did this like this and try going across and getting all the, that equal segments, it's gonna be a lot harder. But if we cut the middle one first, since it's percentage based, we can do 50% of that, 25%, and just kind of equally cut it apart. So when you're using this, just remember that it is percentage based. Okay, so now that we have this cut up a little bit let's move on to the next tool and just remember you can use multi-cut in conjunction with all these other tools or all the other options of cutting so you could just do that bring that together say we had this cut just like this and we're going to move on to the target weld to show how we can kind of take advantage of some of these cuts i've made so let's hit target weld. And right now we have for our components, we have just the vert selected. Say I wanted to bring this edge and I want to combine it with this one. You wouldn't want to do this if you just use the normal W tool and move it over like this. You might think, oh, that's gonna, or let's move it over with uh, the green one. You're like, oh, it's, you know, it's lined up enough, that's fine. But that geometry, it's still there. And you wouldn't want to like, even if you did snap it into place perfectly like that, it's still there, you just can't see it. And I'll show how to do that snapping some other time. Okay, so we have that there and we want to weld it together. So we click our target weld button and we click the first vert we want and then dra drag and click to the second vert. Perfect. And drag and click there one as well. Say we wanted to bring this out, we could just get rid of some of the verts and just drag and click over there and drag and click over there. And that's perfectly combined. Say we wanted to combine a little bit more at a time, we could go over here and do edge selection or just right select and go to edge. Now it's highlighting the entire edge. See how it showed up with a little centerpiece? Click that, drag it over, and bam. I think you can actually do faces too? Maybe not. I don't think you can target weld faces. I've never used it for that. So just stick with verts and edges. And it's really great just doing all kinds of things with this. You can mess up your model a little bit if you do something like that, but just keep that in mind. You could bring this in over here. It's a really useful tool. It's using that in conjunction with multi-cut is perfect for doing all sorts of things. Pretty much any shape you can come up with. So yeah, that's how I use the multi-cut tool and the target weld. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you liked it, uh, click the thumbs up. If you have any comments, just write them down below and subscribe. And thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Take care.